Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I present you Dolphin 3 R1. This model is quite interesting in the sense that it is specifically designed for a Swiss Army knife sort of AI model which you can tailor for your own use case after deploying it locally. In this video, I am going to install it locally in full precision. Whereas if you want to install it in quantized format, you can use Olama or you can use LM Studio and then there are a few other tools which you can deploy. This model is part of Dolphin series, which I have been covering a lot on the channel since its inception. In fact, just a few hours ago, I covered the data set behind this really cool model, which you can check out on the channel, of course. This model has been trained to handle various tasks, including coding, math and agentic function. And the good thing is that you can set the system prompt to direct the model accordingly. This model also can call external functions, tools, enabling seamless integration with your own systems. Unlike other models, Dolphin gives control to the system owner that allows you to set the system prompt, decide the alignment and maintain control over your data. Dolphin is quite flexible in that sense, it seems. Now its local deployment and controllable nature make it quite a good choice for business seeking to integrate AI into the product. But look, let's try to install it and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. I'm also going to give you a 50% discount coupon for range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. You can also rent it as I just described. The link and discount coupon is in the video's description. First up, let's create a virtual environment. And now let's install all the prerequisites. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's grab our model. We are going to download it and you can see from the name that this has been fine tuned on top of this Mistral 24 billion, which in itself is quite a good model from Mistral in small series. By small Mistral means here that it is less than 70 billion. In my mind, I think when we say small, it should be under 10 billion or 8 billion anyway. So let's try to get it installed through Transformers pipeline, of course. And the model is being downloaded and just like Mistral's model, it has around 10 shards. So let's wait for them to get downloaded while that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in the video's description. I think this is going to take a bit of a time, so let's wait. And the last shard is being downloaded. And the model is loaded. Let's do the inference. Now for inference, one of the thing which is being uh, recommended by the creators of the model is this system prompt, which you can see is quite detailed. It is quite well structured and it is primarily is setting the tone and alignment of the responses. This system prompt is letting us to set a character, a mood, a rule for the model's behavior, and then it tries its best to follow them. So make sure to set the system prompt in order to set the tone and guidelines for the responses. Otherwise it is going to act in a default way that might not be what you want. So that is what it is doing here in this um, whole stuff and I have just copy pasted it from the Hugging Face page and I will drop the link to it in video's description. You can do the same. So again, it is doing the thinking, chain of thought, all that stuff, which we already have checked out in various videos in Deep Sea Car 1. And then the prompt which user is asking is that who is the main character in the book, the catcher in the rye. So this is a very classic book from 1950s, I believe, by 
uh, J.D. Salinger and the character which I'm asking it, the correct answer is Holden Caulfield. So let's see if a model can get that. Let me run it. Let me also increase the uh, max new tokens to maybe 5000 just to see how exactly it does the reasoning if it does it. So let me run it. And there you go, it has given us the response and the formatting is okay, but let's check it out and you can immediately see that it is thinking that as is the spirit of the R1 model and the like um, models, it is just first understanding the context of the question that I need to figure out who the main character is. And then it is saying that let me start by recalling what I know about the book. It's a classic novel by J.D. Selinger. That is good. The title is a bit catchy and then it is already um, reached to the correct answer that Holden Caulfield but wait but I should make sure that's a good one let me think and then thinking begins and then it is doing the key reasoning steps here very nice I like this and then it is telling us Holden Caulfield good stuff so, so I think really um, good concise reasoning answer I would say okay let's try out another one now in this question i'm going to check out the language prowess of the model so primarily i'm checking for grammar correction punctuation correction spell check language understanding text fluency that sort of thing so this sentence this one i'm asking it to correct the grammar and other inconsist inconsistencies in the verb and stuff let me run it let's also check the vram consumption so it is consuming around 46 gig of vram and i have seen it jumping to 55 or somewhere around that in some cases so make sure you have that much maybe you can even try it out on 48 gb of vram to see how it goes anyway so i'm just going to close it and then let's go back it is still thinking so let's wait for it and there you go the model has come back with the response and it is uh, saying let's tackle this sentence correction very nice so it's understand what i'm asking and then it is slicing and dicing it going through it and then key corrections and reasoning it has given what exactly it did and then these are the final improvements so if i just go quickly above and check out this one in the bold so it has very correctly made it made the change to has very good the researcher has hypoth hypothesized let me see yeah that there exists a correlation between variables so if i quickly go through it instead of reading it all i believe th it has done wonderfully well it has added all the verbs it has made the sentence more fluent while keeping the semantic of the sentence intact so pretty good i would say so language looks quite good let's check out its multilingual capabilities let me make it fit onto the screen i have added few more languages on popular demand and if you want your language to be added just say it in the comment so i'm asking you to translate i love you in czech polish arabic hindi swahili chinese persian and few other languages and i'm also asking the model to come up with a random language of its own choice let's see how it goes and there you go it is again doing pretty good reasoning it seems and then this is a check one and of course i would need your help too google translate tells me it looks pretty good to me in the check and then this is a uh, polish it says formal less common for romantic love arabic and then this is a male female that is pretty good hindi looks quite okay to me I can't read it so you would have to tell me Swahili looks okay to me Mandarin, Persian, nice German Okay, German I didn't, uh, German, no this looks good and then Okay, so this one is a bit different from the previous model so please guide if that one is correct Okay, because I think previously the other models were showing Sinta or something like that anyway Spanish, Urdu I'm not sure about Urdu, I don't think so, this is correct, this is going with the Arabic one. And then for random choice it has gone with Yiddish, for male and for female, pretty nice. And then it has done some key observation, that is a different thing around key observation. Interesting. 
Okay, so look, we can say that language is pretty good. Not as multilingual as I would have uh, liked, but still good enough. So let's check out the math one. So I'm asking you to solve this differential equation. Now, one thing I haven't done is that I haven't set the role. Now, what I should have done here is that because I'm asking it that to solve the differential equation, if it doesn't give us the correct answer, or if you really want the optimized one, I would highly suggest changing the system prompt. So in order to um, make it more grounded in the prompt, we could just ask it that you're, you're Dolphin and AI Math Assistant and your primary directive is to provide well rounded structured logical math answer something like that so that model would know what it's supposed to do and then it performs quite up optimally so let's see how what sort of response it provides for the general prompt and it has produced a response here in mathematics which looks pretty good to me so if i scroll down it has done a very good reasoning around it step by step in a chain and then you see that it is just computing it plugging the values here and there combining them it is self-reflecting on its answers pretty cool and then there is a final answer which if i quickly compare with my own looks pretty good to me so it has managed to do it without me you know guiding it through the prompt but now let's do a coding one but the coding one let me make the prompt a bit more um, targeted so in the targeted prompt i'm asking it that you are dolphin a node.js coding assistant you only code in node.js if the user requests any other programming language return the solution in node.js inst uh, instead and then rest of it i'll just keep it as is i could change it if i like but i'm just going to keep it as is and now let me change it to a coding question here. So for the coding one, I'm asking it to write me a simple Node.js application which prints Hello World in a browser page. This application should implement SSO too for user login. The SSO should be integrated with Microsoft and ID. Let's see what sort of output it produces. And there you go. The start looks quite good. It is understanding the problem and then it is asking uh, from itself to break down the requirements starting with Node.js app to serve a simple page I can use Express.js that's straightforward that is nice and it is displaying it at the route and then comes the difficult part SSO typically involves reflect the redirecting user to an identity provider that's correct and that need the app needs to use Azure ID Azure AD authentication very nice and then it says, I remember that using passport.js is common approach for authentication in Node. They're very nice. I'm just sorry. I'm just reading through it. This is pretty good, actually. Very nice. And then it is creating a Node.js application. So there you go. I'm not a Node.js developer, but I believe this looks quite good. So Express is server is there for serving. Passport is there for SSO and all that authentication. And then it is strategy is being defined from Azure. And then the route is there just for the login and callback, just to go back to that IDP. And then if the authentication is good, nice. And then it is installing stuff, configuring these. And even it has given us Azure portal setup. This is really good. And then application flow verification. Look, this is outstanding. I can tell you this is outstanding. I think even I can put together some sort of um, SSO enabled application and I have no idea about Node.js except installing it. So it looks pretty good. But if you're a Node.js developer, please, please uh, share your thoughts on it. Pretty good model. Um, Dolphin 3 R1 Mistral, really good stuff, you know, keeps the quality of Mistral model intact while inducing or installing this reasoning into the model so let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot and you can see that i have been covering dolphin like crazy hopefully eric hartford would also notice that anyway thank you for watching